Hi, welcome to the seventh tutorial on creating a virtual cluster using Scientific Linux and Oracle VirtualBox. So in this tutorial I'm going to be installing Ganglia and if I have time I'm going to set up the nodes for Ganglia as well. So, Gang As with uh, most Linux programs we're going to have to install some dependencies first and we're going to need the uh, EPL and RPMS repositories for Ganglia. So let's go to temp and then wget the epl repository I will provide these links in the uh, description for the video and then the rpms and then just rpm uh, these two files using uh, RPM minus capital U VH and then the um, RPM names. Uh, that should be RPM, not RMP. Okay, so that's done. Just go back to the home folder and then we need to install the actual dependencies. So it's yum install APR devil rrd tool dash devil lab confuse dash devil pcre dash devil expat dash devil gcc zlib dash devil and I think that's all. Oh, no. Make should already be installed, but let's just do it anyway. And then HTTPD as well. So I'm going to let that run and finish, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, now that the dependencies are installed, we can start setting up the cluster to use Ganglia. So the first, first thing we're going to do is create a user for Ganglia to run on. So user add minus m Ganglia and then user mod minus l Ganglia. And then we're going to download uh, gang the Ganglia source code. So wget, I'll post this link in the description for the video as well. So it's just SourceForge projects, Ganglia files, and then the actual Ganglia file. Just let that run. Okay, so just to extract the file, tar minus zxf, Ganglia, and then we've got the Ganglia folder. So just cd to Ganglia. Then we need to configure the set the um, the file before oh well need to configure it before we can compile so dot slash configure minus minus with dash uh, g my dad so just let the configuration script do its thing then we just make it uh, it's important that the NFS is already set up for your cluster and it's working because some of the files we're going to use later on is going to be shared via the NFS. If it's not working, it's not really a problem. You could just SCP the files, but it's easier if you have the NFS working. So uh, now that it's done compiling, we just make install to install the program onto the node, well, onto the master node. Okay, so now we have to create the directories from which uh, Ganglia will be running. So make directory minus p var lib uh, slash lib Ganglia slash rrds and then let's just join this file folder to the Ganglia user. Uh, 
Okay, so another one slash USR slash local etc conf.d. Okay, so now we just copy the gmatad config file into a local file on the computer. So just cp gmatad slash gmatad.conf to usr slash local slash etc just like that yes overwrite the config file and then we create the basic gmond config file so gmond minus t and then we pipe this into a t and write to slash usr slash local slash etc gmond.conf so if we do an ls usr local etc gmon well we'll see the gmon.conf uh, file we just created okay so let's just quickly configure those files vim slash et uh, no vim slash usr local etc gmeta.conf now you'll see most of the data here is uh, commented out what we want is the data source so here you will give your cluster a name for the ganglia page so I'm just gonna call this test cluster and this local host has to be the domain name for your master node so for me it would just be master we're looking for one other con setting in this file the uh, set UID username and we will set this to ganglia okay so just write and quit this file and we need just edit the gmond file it's in the same path just gmond.conf uh, this one has a few more settings that we need to set up um, let's see the name we give this cluster owner you can say pretty much whatever you want and then the URL has to be your public IP address uh, 0.0.20 and slash ganglia okay uh, that's fine at the UDP send channel uh, we delete this line and add host equals the fully qualified domain name for uh, the computer hosting the ganglia server so just master in my case again UDP rece receive channel we delete this line and the bind line and the retry bind as well we just want the port uh, as well as for the TCP channel except channel so that's everything in this file and we can just close it off okay so the next step is to have the services start on compute startup so just check config gmond on oh wait we haven't actually created the services yet so just cp gmatad slash gmatad.init to slash etc slash rc.d slash init.d slash gmatad no slash at the back we have to move the I'll copy the file so that it does not have the dot init uh, extension. So just copy it like that and then do the same for a gmond one. So just replace this with gmond and this one as well. And copy. Now we have to quickly edit those files again. Etc. rc dot d init dot d gmond and then at this path it provides here we have, have to add 
slash local before the sbin for both of the files. So G made that as well. Just add local. Okay, that should do it. So the next step uh, to install Ganglia is to get the Ganglia web service. So once again I'll provide this link in the description for the video. Just execute the wget for the link then tar minus zxf ganglia web then move this whole folder to slash var slash www slash html slash ganglia then join the folder for root slash var www html ganglia then we quickly need to install yeah, that should be y rsync and php Okay, so rsync and php is finished installing. We will just go to the web folder we extracted earlier and then copy it over. So it's cd for www.html ganglia. Then we just execute a make install to install the web service. Oh, well, that's a quick one. Uh, once that's done, we just need to do another churn. on slash var slash lib ganglia wait didn't I already do this I'm pretty sure I did this but let's just be safe so just check config httpd on and then let's start the services httpd start it's important to always start the HTTP service before running uh, the gmod and gmatad services. So service gmatad start. Oh, it's also important to st start the gmatad before gmod because gmod is going to attempt to connect to gmatad. So service gmod start. So just open your web browser, type in your public IP address with slash ganglia behind it and you'll see this page. So you'll see now it lists the master node, but it has no other nodes to choose from. And there's the name we gave it, and there's all your usual ganglia options. So that's it for this this tutorial. In the next one I will configure the clients, well the nodes for Ganglia as well. Thank you.